Hey guys, it's AndroidPad.com and I'm here with the Motorola Moto G and the game is, as you probably figured out, Robocop. It's inspired by the movie with the same name, should come to the cinema soon. It's available for free from Glue Mobile, a famous company about as famous as Gameloft, only a little less famous. And the title came out on January 15th, if I remember well. You're playing in Detroit in the year 2028. You play as Alex Murphy, aka the Tin Man, aka Robocop, who has been fitted into a costume that gives him more power. Since this is a free game, you have to get used to ads and lots and lots of in-app purchases. Okay, we're going to show you some daily missions. There are daily missions here, there are leather missions and uh, missions related to the storyline that allow you to advance. So there's this Omnicop program, you're basically inside the simulation that pits you against enemies, either robots or human enemies. This is a static cover shooter, this is the definition of the game, and it resembles the game Epoch quite a bit if you play the Epoch, you know what I'm talking about. You can peek behind the cover to see the direction of the enemies. As you can see the lighting effects are pretty good and you can also go behind another barrier by pressing the side arrows and then you can press the screen to start shooting at foes but you can only shoot for a short time because your weapon gets overheated. This time I'm shooting at robots, it will be ideal to shoot the enemies when they're not shooting at you. You can also shoot barrels and you can also scan your enemies to find weak spots. You scan them by pressing this uh, button here, a nice cool x-ray view. Those ones have a weakness on the chest. Usually if you get exactly their weak spot, they die instantly. There are also snipers to stay away from. And there is a nifty little power, this one here, if you press this button, it's a special ability that allows you to pinpoint targets and hit them like in a sort of a slow motion matrix way. This is one of the easier missions, so no problems here. As I said, the game is pretty easy to play. It takes a lot of grinding, however. The weapons have an obscene cost, I must say that. There is a lot of money to be spent in this game, both virtual money and physical money. For example, I'm using this uh, sort of uh, some machine gun or something, and these are the upgrades I have applied so far. A lot of them, a lot of money spent, and still haven't unlocked them all. We can also choose another weapon, a variety of other SMGs with huge, huge prices. Aside from SMGs, we have shotguns. They look hot, but they cost a lot. We got rail guns, 48k dollars, and I barely got 3000. Plasma guns, even more expensive, 100k or more. And miniguns, which are basically the Terminator killers, so to say. Okay, you can also upgrade your suit with a huge amount of power-ups, usually they increase your hit points, they make you more resilient or uh, they make you resist a variety of attacks, they increase your focus, whatever that is, this is the focus mode, this is the health, and then you evolve to another level of the suit, this is Mark 3, as the Iron Man would have it, and the skill tree is impressive for a game that wants to be pretty simple. Oh, by the way, the upgrades are pretty slow, so if I start an upgrade now, let's say this one, I can buy it, but I have to wait 7 minutes or spend resources to complete it, which I don't quite fancy. As I said, there is the daily hunt, there is the escalation, with missions progressively harder, this challenge that's basically too easy, it's a easy way to earn cash, and another thing that bumps me out is the stamina you see here at the top, the energy. Basically, every mission consumes 10 uh, points from your energy and you have 100, so once you do 10 missions, you have to rest, wait a few minutes for your energy to load. And now I'm going to show you this challenge level. Apparently on hard level, I'm going to fight against human enemies, find their weaknesses. You can also find the occasional guy you can threaten and make him surrender. So you actually have to shoot him in the weak point and then he kill will cave in. I scanned the guys, I found that mole. I shot him once and now he's captured. Of course, if you want to actually hit the enemies, you sometimes have to break through stuff like boxes barrels or various other obstacles. Of course they can do the same if you're near a car and you're shielded by it, they'll keep shooting at the car till it explodes and you'll probably die or lose a lot of health. There are also snipers and grenadiers 
and you can also call in a drone to help you. Of course the drone and medipacks cost a lot in this game so basically you have to spend a lot of money to progress decently. Let's scan the enemies a bit more. I just shot him in the weak point and then he died. As I said the graphics are pretty decent for such a static shooter. However I'm a bit disappointed by it, the lack of variety when it comes to the level design. It's basically the same level over and over again, sometimes as a night, sometimes indoors, sometimes outdoors. Basically a slum of a major town in the future. The graphics are nice for a game that uh, revolves around 100 megabytes or so in storage. And frankly speaking, the game, the Robocop game from back in the 90s on the Game Boy was a bit more appealing and had more storyline than this one. This is one of the impossible missions. This is a storyline mission and here you get to face a boss that appears at the end of the level. These are the characters, by the way, this guy also played uh, the crazy superhero in Watchmen. Those faces will actually be actors that will appear in the Robocop movie that will come soon. And I am going to reveal the grade of this game to you already. It's a 7 out of 10 because you have to spend a lot to progress or do some crazy grinding. There's not a lot of variety in the levels, everything costs a lot. And missions are kind of hard if you progress through the game. At first they're very easy, now you can see I'm fighting a sniper. And by the way, snipers can get you even behind cover, so good luck with that. And also grenades can hit you behind cover, so basically covers are useless because they can be destroyed and at least two enemy units can shoot through them. So the final grade from AndroidPipe.com is 7 out of 10 for this Glue Mobile title. Could have been better, could have been not so static and it's basically an epoch without a punch. That's it from AndroidPipe.com. Bye bye.